Hi there, marketing research students. In this really quick video, I would like to show you how you can embed data up in your hyperlinks of any Qualtrics surveys that you're distributing so that that information captured up in the hyperlink is stored in your Qualtrics data set when the data is collected. In your particular case, you're interested in doing this so you can track the relative performance of each of your fellow teammates to see how well they are performing in their data collection efforts. First, let's imagine that we created a survey that we're ready to launch live and distribute to into other people. In this case, it's a single question survey, simply asking overall how satisfied are you with SDSU. Pretty short survey. Now, we're happy that uh, this survey is ready to go. So, to correctly set the embedded data properties, in this particular case, there's two things that I would like to store. First, I would like to be able to capture the student who actually administered the survey so that I know that anybody who responds, I know anybody who responds to our survey, I know which student who sent out the survey gets credit for it. And secondly, I would like to assess which distribution channels for the survey worked best. So in, some, in, in this case, some students might use, say, email. Other students might use Facebook, Twitter, or some other social media channel. I would like to track to see if Facebook was effective, email was effective, or some other channel. So to do that, <clears throat> I simply go up here to survey flow. And my survey flow is very simple. I have a single block survey with a single question. I need to add a new element. And I'm going to click on this embedded data button here. Now this says value will be set from panel or URL. In this case, I want to be able to capture information from a URL. I need to tell it uh, Qualtrics when it looks up at the URL of each survey I'm distributing what it should be looking for. In this case, I'm going to call something red ID. That's one. I'm going to add a new field called source as well. So the red ID variable that I'm creating here represents where I should plug in each student's red ID and source represents whether you say email, Facebook, so on. Okay. Save my survey flow. Great. Now, this should work, but we have to make sure we understand how to use this correctly. In that case, let's take a look at this quick PowerPoint slide. All right, let's imagine that I click the launch survey button and as Qualtrics does, it provides me a very long hyperlink. This isn't a space, this is an underscore. Never use spaces up in the hyperlinks, obviously. In this hypothetical case, let's imagine we have three students, Sofia, Santiago, and Martina. Each one of them have a different red ID, obviously. They're all on a team, and they're all distributing the exact same survey. Sofia plans on using Facebook, Twitter, and a student org that she's part of to collect the data, so she'll be administering uh, this link to these three channels. Santiago plans on using coworkers, Facebook, and email. And Martina plans on using Facebook and email. Of course, there could be many other possible channels as well. But in this case, we have these examples. For each one of these students, they simply need to add on something to, eat to the total hyperlink. Let's look at Sophia. So this hyperlink, the blue part here, is the exact same link as you're seeing above. Then, use an ampersand. And then you type in the exact same word as you did when we set it in the Qualtrics system. In this case, we had a word red ID, all caps, all together. Then we had the equal sign. In this case, for Sophia, her red ID is 999-888-777. So we plug that in here. But we also had a source variable that we typed into Qualtrics in the survey flow system as embedded data. So we have ampersand source. In this case, equals Facebook, Twitter, and student org. Since Sophia, being one with one red ID, has three channels she plans on using, she'll be using three separate links here. Santiago and Martina, same idea. They use their red ID and they type in their source. Important, don't use any spaces when you're characterizing what the name of the source is. That'll cause chaos. Okay, let's put this into practice and see what happens. Okay, in this example, Notice that I pasted the hyperlink up here with red ID equals 999-888-777 and the source equals Facebook. They come into the survey. They say they're, they say they're very satisfied with SDSU. They save it. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, this time a different student must have sent out this email because the red ID is now 111 
In this email, they included, they were using their email distribution channel. So if someone clicked on this link, they'd again be taken to the same survey. This particular person is neutral when it comes to SDSU. Complete their survey. Okay, so this survey has been taken two times. What we want to see here is in our, our Qualtrics data set, was more saved than simply how satisfied somebody was with SDSU. Did it also remember to grab their people's red ID and their email? Uh, I'm sorry, their source. If so, we can analyze that data later to see how well everyone performs when we collect the data. Let's see that in action. Okay, to download our data set, we simply go to View Results, Download Data, and in our class, in our class, we always use S, uh, SPSS, but in this case, I think we should be, we be able to see what's going on by simply downloading a CSV file, which will open up in Excel. We click on it. Here it goes. It's downloaded. Let's open it up. Okay. <clears throat> Here's our data set. V1 through V10 are a variety of default variables automatically tracked by Qualtrics. You'll notice it tracks IP address by default. And no surprise, same IP address since I did this on the same computer. When someone started, when someone finished, right next to each other. Here's my satisfaction variable. So we have someone who is on five, very satisfied, and three, just like I clicked on the exit tutorial. But what's important for us is we have these two additional columns that we programmed in, red ID and source. The reason these red ID and source columns exist is because we set them up in the embedded data field up in survey flow at the very beginning of this tutorial. We see here that it captured the first uh, student, 999-888-777, using Facebook, and the other student, 111-222-333, using email. When we complete our data collection, in other words, imagine there's hundreds of rows here now, we can then assess to see how well each one of the teammates performed at collecting data, holding each member accountable.